So say last time we saw what direct and inverse proportion mean and we also saw some examples. Do you remember? Yes, sir. And you also explained it to me very well so I could understand it properly. Okay. So today we will see the practical uses of direct proportion. Okay. You know my elder brother has two friends, Samir and Sali. Both were in the same school. Later on they studied a computer hardware and networking course. Both were working in a shop for a few days. but then they thought that they would start their own business so both of them contributed some money and started their business in partnership last year tai you had actually started telling me a story while speaking about the use of direct proportion yes yes please be a little patient we are going to find the use of direct proportion in the story of salil and samir now tell me sai if they earn a profit of rupees 60000 from their business how will they share it So if both of them earn a profit of sixty thousand, then they should divide it into half. That is, both of them will get rupees thirty thousand each. But say, see, if both of them contribute different amount of capital, even then will they share an equal amount of profit? Hmm. Oh, I didn't understand. How is that related here? Well, if Samir had invested fifty thousand and Salil one lakh rupees as capital. then salil should get more profit because he has invested more amount as capital isn't it what you say is correct but then how to decide how much portion of the profit samir will get and how much salil good at least now you agree that one who puts in more capital should get more profit even though we assume that they have put in an equal amount of hard work now let us think exactly how much profit we are going to give to salil as he has put in more capital Suppose in the beginning Samir had put in a capital of rupees 25000 instead of 50000 and Salil had put in 125000 instead of 1 lakh then what will you say about the profit that they'll get if Samir had put in 25000 instead of 50000 then since it is lesser the part of the profit that he takes should be lesser and if Salil has put in more money that is 1 lakh 25000 instead of 1 lakh then the part of the profit that he takes should increase well done sai so it means more the capital more will be the share of profit and lesser the capital lesser will be the share of profit right are you able to understand oh then it means that the invested capital and the received portion of the profit are in direct proportion correct now tell me if samir has invested rupees 50000 capital and salil has invested 1 lakh capital then how much proportion of profit of rupees 60000 will each of them take since salil has invested double the amount of capital invested by samir salil will get double the portion of profit got by samir so if samir gets profit x then salil will get 2x as profit and total profit will be 3x but the total profit is 60000 rupees that is 3x is 60000 rupees So X is twenty thousand rupees. So it means that Samir will get rupees twenty thousand, and Salil should get the double of this. That is, he should get rupees forty thousand. Good, say very good. Now you tell me, if Samir had put in twenty five thousand, and Salil had put in one lakh twenty five thousand, hmm, then how do we distribute the profit amongst them? Please wait. Just telling you, the invested capital and the received profit are in direct proportion. If Samir's profit is x, then Salil's profit is sixty thousand minus x, and will be as the equation given below. Samir's profit upon Samir's capital is equal to Salil's profit upon Salil's capital. So x upon twenty five thousand is equal to sixty thousand minus x upon one lakh twenty five thousand, which means x upon twenty five is equal to sixty thousand minus x upon one twenty five. Our x upon one is equal to sixty thousand minus x upon five, so five x is equal to sixty thousand minus x. We can also write it as six x is equal to sixty thousand. From this, we will get x is equal to ten thousand. So Samir will get rupees ten thousand, and Salil will get rupees fifty thousand. Very good, Sai. I think now you have understood the examples of partnership and profit really well. and have also understood the use of even proportion in them right yes i have understood it very nicely now okay now i'm giving you and our other friends a difficult example okay 
Okay. If Vikas also joins in partnership with Samir and Salil, and Samir puts in rupees twenty five thousand, Salil puts in rupees fifty thousand, and Vikas puts in seventy five thousand rupees as capital, and if the total profit is rupees sixty thousand, then how much profit will each of them get? Find out. <laughs> 